He is known as the Miracle Man. Terry Metropolis has cheated death many times and at one stage was left deaf, blind and unable to walk. But Terry has fought back and now he's about to take on a massive challenge to help others. Sunrise correspondent Nathan Templeton has his extraordinary story. This is back, boys. Dad is back. Terry Metropolis is back, all right, back from the dead. And even though his sons don't love his Eminem impression... Come on, you got to sing with me, right? Ah, uh, then I'm going to... Come on, boys. His revival is worth celebrating. Guess who's back, Dad is back. Guess who's back, Dad is back. <laughs> Nine years ago, Terry was 36, a successful businessman happily married with two young sons. When he was diagnosed with a brain tumour, followed by a horrific series of complications. Uh, the recovery time was suggested to be three to four months. In fact, I was near in hospital for four years. In total, he had 13 brain surgeries and in the process caught a superbug. The infection was so bad, it led to a stroke. Given a 5% chance of living, Terry lost his vision, hearing, speech and mobility. I've got to say, at that time, at that time, of the little life that I had, I actually felt alive. Alive that, you know what, you've got to fight on your hand. Let's fight it. And fight he did. With the support of his wife Belinda and an army of helpers, Terry relearned how to walk, talk, eat and speak. I did promise my wife, I did vow, I said, listen, don't worry. I'll get back on our feet. I'll put our family back where it needs to be, as where it was once before. I don't know how he does it, because I think if it was reversed, I don't think I'd be able to quite do. Sometimes it was better the way things happen. <laughs> Belinda's being modest. She's the one who somehow kept the family on track. It was all a blur, pretty much. She's done a lot, like a lot for us, to make us feel happy. I remember it was very daunting and it was very sad, because I had no idea really what was happening. This has been amazing, great support. Ah, it's, getting, it's getting emotional. Three years ago, Terry's determination and commitment to his family was recognised when he was named Victorian Father of the Year. Since then, he has continued to improve and now walks up to 20 k's a day. It's astounded doctors. Surgeon Liz Sixton describes the recovery as a miracle. We're really only beginning to tap into what we can do when we put our mind to it. You know, when you combine will and work, we work wonders, and that's what a miracle is. But Terry's next challenge will be his toughest, walking from Adelaide to Melbourne. South Australian Premier Stephen Marshall will launch the Walk and Shine event on August 17th, with the journey aiming to raise awareness and funds for the Black Dog Institute, which supports mental health. I think he's an amazing human being. Like, I also... Like, it's great to see him inspiring people with disabilities. He's endured so, so much, so many obstacles, and it's just crazy to see that he's just passed it all and he's become the person that he is now, able to help people with mental health. They're definitely my angels. Um, mm. And knowing that they're actually my boys and my angels, it's... it's, it's And, and, and this is where the tears of joy comes along, that I do have the opportunity to be that father again. Wow. Gee, you think you've got problems, hey? <laughs> How inspiring wow. is he? And you Jeez. two little boys, what yep. a dad you have to look up to and amazing wife. So, great story, Nathan.